guys, it's Shot TV Productions, and I'm back here with another video. Okay, guys, so today's video is going to be on my experience at Buffalo State College. I'm going to be talking about the dorms, um, what else? Food, the environment, all of that good stuff. So, this video was requested by Alicia Br Brunson. I think that's your name. I'm sorry if I miss, um, if I didn't say it right, and also by It's Seeds, I think that's how you say it. Um, this video was requested by them, and why not do a video? So, if you're new to my channel, make sure you press that subscribe button. I'm giving you three seconds to do it. Three seconds. Make sure you like and comment on all my videos. And turn on your post notifications to know when I post videos. And, yeah, let's get right into the video. Starting off with my... Let's start off with talking about the dorms. When I first went to Buffalo State College in 2016, we had the option of choosing which dorms we wanted to be in. The options that were available for freshmen, because we weren't allowed to be in like the upperclassmen dorms and everything, we had to choose a freshman dorm. Newman, Perry, Cassidy, and Porter was for them. So Newman, Perry... Newman, Perry, Cassidy, and Porter Hall. The upperclassmen dorms, there was Towers, Stack. Yeah, I think Towers and just Stack. So, and um, there's another hall called, what is it called? What's the other? What's the other hall called? I forgot the hall names. North Wing. North Wing, Stack, and North Wing, Stack, and Towers, they were upperclassmen dorms. So those are for the sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Freshman dorms were for freshmen. Um, the way how you were selected, I really don't know. I got Cassidy by chance because usually um, Cassidy's for like the athletes. So most of the football players will be in Cassidy. Get out. Oh my God. And, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about what I know about the halls and how my experience at Cassidy was and whatever, whatever. Newman, I don't really know much about Newman Hall. Um, at the time, it was known as the Dirty Hall. Like, the hall was dirty, it was old. Da -da -da. Nobody ever wanted to live in Newman. Um, they did renovate it now, though. So, I haven't been... I have... Did I... Was I in there? I, f I haven't seen it, but I heard it was um, newly renovated and it looks better, whatever the case may be. Um, Perry, I've been in Perry. Perry does not, Newman and Perry do not have an elevator. So, yeah, if you have a lot of stuff, I don't know how you're going to bring it the day of moving there, but don't live in Perry. If you have to move in there, you have to move in there, but, yeah, you're going to struggle with all your stuff. Porter, Porter was known as the mixy place. Like, Porter, it looks like Porter, it looks like the projects, basically. Like, I'm not even going to lie, but Porter was like, Yes! Yes! <laughs> Porter was lit though, so I'm not gonna not gonna bash Porter. They renovated Porter too, so Porter wasn't bad though. Like I was always in Porter, even though I lived in Cassidy. And plus, my friends live in Porter, so you know I always you know stay in Porter, whatever. Towers. Oh, now because I'm graduating now, and um, I think my sophomore year. My sophomore year, that's when they were allowing freshmen to live in towers. And I was confused because I'm like, you need to tell me that I could have been living like, oh, all right. So I'm all over the place with this story. Freshman year, it was three people to a room. Mm -hmm. Three people. This is my first time being on a bunk bed. By yes. Me. Okay. Word. First time. <laughs> Three people to a room. So I was just scared at the moment because I'm like, three people to a room? How is this going to work? Like. I barely have enough space at my house with one person in the room. So how is three people going to live in one room? How big is the room? But it worked out, whatever. I lived in Cassidy. Cassidy was, um, it was renovated at the time. It wasn't bad. We shared a community bathroom. It wasn't bad because everybody on, there was three floors. Um, 
you were able to like it wasn't bad living like there was no like problems with like the showers and everything people came in to clean the showers and stuff like that so we never had to worry about that cassie wasn't bad at all i met a lot of good people in cassidy um yeah i don't really have pictures if i do have pictures i'll include them or videos of me in the different halls but if not um there's like videos on youtube of the different halls but because i'm not there and i'm not able to show you if i was at school i would have showed you but yeah um let me go back to what you asked food the food on campus man food on campus what do i say about the food on campus okay so there's dining and then there's retail right when you first go to buffalo state you know you're gonna be like oh retail oh my god subways oh my god a fake um a fake burger king because it's called what is it called train grill i think they changed the name now but it was train grill and they make burgers fries breakfast breakfast croissants based all those good stuff um, they had a sushi spot, they had Subways, they had, it's called Two Tomato, they had, um, Salsaritas, which is, which is like a fake Chipotle to me, and, um, they had like a salad spot, and then they had the chicken spot where they have like wings and stuff like that, the french fries and chicken wraps and all that good stuff. To be honest, you're going to get tired of eating that food because when I tell you freshman year, I got so tired of it, but you're going to keep buying it because it's like that's the only option you have. Like, sometimes you're just not going to want to cook and it's like, meal plan, food access, right there. But the food is mad expensive. I don't know where they began this pricing from, but the food is mad expensive and it's like, half the time I feel like they be jipping us out of our money, but what can we really do about it? Dining now. Let's get to dining because dining... The people in dining, they gotta chill. <laughs> they have to chill because, bro, like, I don't know what type of combinations y'all be coming up with sometimes, but I haven't been to dining since my junior year and barely at that. Like, I stopped going after a while because, like, when I tell you, I would eat this food on campus and it would just go right through me. Like, you ever want to sit down, like, you eat your food, you just want to sit down and relax and then go to the bathroom? No, that's not what happened with buffalo state food i feel like it's just college food in general but some colleges have some good food so it's like what is going on like what's going on what are y'all putting in this food and then there was this one time where i'm in dining and like you know how like they'll like be making eggs and stuff for us like sausage and stuff like that i seen one of the workers and I, he literally put it was this much egg this much egg right this man went like this with the salt that's it like, I know you don't want to give us high cholesterol and all that stuff, but literally, that's it. Like, literally, he went like this. I was just like, so that's why the egg don't be having no type of flavor and no type, like, the egg be tasting like, ugh. Like, what are you doing? Then this much, like, bro, like, put, put this, if you don't put the seasoning in the food and stop playing with us, put the seasoning in the food, bro. I remember one time they had like different culture like culture nights where like they would make the um they would they had a, like a Jamaican like they made, tried to make oxtail one time and I was like don't ever disrespect my country like that don't don't ever dis like it wasn't bad but I'm like don't ever disrespect it like that because what are you doing like I don't know where y'all got that recipe from but that was not it that was not it but yeah dining i mean there's people that like the food but after a while it's just like it's not it <laughs> it's not it and you're gonna want to cook your food or starve it's either you're gonna cook or starve so it's like yeah i mean there's options like there's chinese food and stuff around like around campus and stuff but literally everywhere you have to like either drive because you cannot walk like you have to drive to get somewhere and it blows my mind because like bro and then the buses are like bro the buses bro bubble just so slow paced to me like coming from new york city it's just so so like slow paced and it bothers me because it's like everything closes early and i'm i wasn't used to that like the four years i was there i was not used to it still because like bro why is everything closing early bro 
I go. I want to go to the mall. It takes an hours to get to the mall, bro. Like, bro, bro, why? But um, my freshman experience wasn't. It wasn't bad. Besides the little things that happened, but <laughs> look out for that story time. <laughs> look out for that story time. If you know, you know. But um, it wasn't bad at all. Like, my experience at Bubble State wasn't bad. Like, I had all my friends with me. It wasn't bad. Like, I never, like, still to this day, I, I didn't feel like I was in college. Like, I felt like I was in college when I was going to work, but barely at that. Like, I'm used to doing work all the time. Like, since middle school, since, like, growing up, I was always in my book. So, it's like, that was never a problem. So, going to college wasn't really, I was, if I was to go to, like, UB or something, like, even though I got accepted to UB, um, I just, like, I, I focus better in, like, smaller schools, and UB was just too big for me. Like, my dream school was Albany, but they didn't accept me because of, not because of my grades, but they said they didn't have a room or something like that, and I was like, why send me a letter? You could have just emailed me that, but whatever. Everything happens for a reason, but it is what it is, but I feel like my freshman experience wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. If I could do it over, I would do it over. I would do a lot of things over my freshman year because when I tell you, I wish I started my YouTube channel freshman year because I could I would have got some good footage for you guys because like a lot of stuff happened like since freshman year. And honestly, doing this YouTube stuff like it's making me get out my shell more like I want to do like public interviews and all that stuff so hopefully I gain the confidence and go outside when all this you know coronavirus stuff goes away but yeah um I feel like that's it like um for like for the two girls that um asked me to do this video I feel like it all depends on you and how you make the best out of it so um yeah don't don't fall for what these little boys have to say to you freshman year because honestly freshman year is the point where you know people are just living their lives like there's still people to this day that i knew since freshman year and they're still doing them and i'm just like you didn't mature yet like what's what's going on like i understand you're doing you but i guess um those are the dorms towers i had a video um which video is that I think it was either a day, but one of my vlogs um, of me saying that I'm at Buffalo State, I think, it's that vlog. I had like a video of me showing like towers and how it looks with my sweet mates. Um, I lived in, oh I forgot about more. How did I forget to talk about more? Okay, so let me, let me repeat it because clearly I'm all over the place. The freshman dorms. There's a new freshman dorm, by the way, too. It's called Bishop Hall. Um, I haven't been in there. I heard it's nice in there. Um, it's for the international students, I think, or the honor students. But I heard it's nice. Um, there's still Newman. There's still Perry. There's still Porter. Um, there's still Cassidy. Towers. There's Stack. There's more. Um, there's North Wing. Um, more is more, I picked more, co um, more complex this semester, which is my last semester, because it's more low-key, like, nobody really comes to more, and if you do come to more, it's more on the low-key side, like, nobody really hears much about more complex, so that's why I chose more, and I had my single, so it's like, I was low-key in my room all the time, so, it wasn't that bad, but, those are the dorms, um, you are able to request if you want to live by yourself now. I wish we had that option freshman year. But, you know, Buffalo State want to, you know, just accept everybody. And, you know, not know where to put them. But, it's whatever. It's cool. It's all cool. You can also live off campus. There's Monarch. There's um, Campus Walk. Um, yeah, those are the options. And, um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I would advise you to come and do a tour at Buffalo State because that's what I did. And they, although they didn't bring us to like inside like the, um, the halls, 
I was able to like ask people because I knew people that that went to Buffalo State and I asked them like about different halls and what halls they would suggest me to live in and stuff like that. And everybody requested Cassidy and I was just so happy to get Cassidy because Cassidy was a newly renovated hall and I was like, yeah, God, I see you. You're doing good things. And yeah, um, that was basically my experience on Buffalo State. As you guys can see, I put on mad weight being at college. I mean, my face got fat like just if anybody knows any um face exercises i can do to like get the sturgeon away like please let me know because i need to like i gained mad weight and i'm just over it like college you gotta chill <laughs> you gotta chill like you have to chill because bro my thighs look look at my thighs look at that it's ridiculous like i just i just over it but if you guys like more video i hope i answered all your questions all your concerns um just make sure you guys like comment and subscribe let me know if you want more talks on buffalo state i feel like i basically explained everything that you guys should like a general yeah um i feel like i explained everything and um yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And more videos will be coming soon. One can be my only. The other one.